Jacobo van Heemskerk um, is one of the most important painters of modern art in the Netherlands. And of course that is unique because she was a female artist. Women didn't have a lot of opportunities back then. She was supported, thankfully, by her uh, family. She was educated and later on found a connection with the leading artist of modern art in the Netherlands. She really developed herself as an independent artist and was recognized as an artist who developed her own style, which is of course also unique for any painter, whether male or female. Jacobo van Heemskerk was part of the Luminist movement, uh, a movement that included artists such as Piet Mondrian. It was a very short-lived movement, but a very exciting one, where they started to paint light in the most vivid and bright colors. Both Piet Mondrian and Jacobo van Heemskerk were really influenced by uh, the theosophical movement. And that meant that they were trying to paint landscapes that were more than just what you see. They tried to paint the, the, really the, the order of the world behind nature. And they believed that there was a natural order in things and landscape painting could show you that order. They both went their separate ways with that inspiration. And where for Piet Mondrian that leads to uh, geometrical painting in the end for Jacob van Heemskerk that led to a more expressionist uh, style with no corners but soft movements, uh, a style that you can recognize everywhere and that is a, a really special thing to accomplish as an artist. Van Heemskerk was the only Dutch member of Der Sturm, which is a great accomplishment that no other Dutch artist managed, even though uh, German Expressionism was very influential in the Netherlands. She was a friend of Herbert Walden and he really um, inspired her to work and she became a successful exhibiting artist in Germany as well, both painting and also woodcuts, so she was very versatile. And it's very special to see that um, she was a member of such an important movement and had great international connections, um, allowing her to be an independent painter. The painting Two Trees is um, one of the most famous paintings uh, by Jacobo van Heemskerk, but especially the most luminist painting. This was a short-lived art movement, uh, but very successful, and it moved from New Impressionism, which was like putting very tiny dots next to each other and it, and it liberated uh, this new impressionism and pontalism. And you can see in two trees that uh, Jacob van Heemskerk uh, was really skilled. The thing with new impressionism was that most artists lost themselves in the technique. And you can tell that Jacob van Heemskerk um, didn't purely uh, consider it a technical movement. She was trying to see, or already at that time, trying to see the, the spiritual aspect of nature. Trees are a very important theme in her work. They are also in, an important theme in basically any world religion. It's about the tree of life. So she's so fascinated by trees and it allows her to explore the technical aspect within this theme. At a certain point though, she becomes more and more involved with the spirituality of nature and she changed her style. Um, she changed her style at a time when she became more and more involved with Walden and he really uh, influenced her and then she really developed her signature style basically characterized by very vivid, very bold colors separated from each other um, with heavy dark contours and that's something you recognize from across the room. You will always see that it's a Jacob van Heemskerk painting and that is uh, extremely special. This exhibition truly shows that landscape painting had a long tradition in the Netherlands that of course we already know are from the 17th century onwards. And that was something that was definitely remembered by the Hague school artists. And you can definitely tell that connection when they were painting Dutch light. And in their case, that was gray light, silver light. Uh, with the luminist generation, uh, people like Jacob van Heemskerk put color into that light. And for them, it wasn't about a calm serenity uh, and, and the calm Dutch landscape. It was about sensation and feeling light physically, basically. 
At a certain point though, when uh, Jacob van Heemskerk becomes more and more fascinated about the spiritual side of things, she um, chooses to represent light, a different kind of light. It becomes a divine light. You can definitely tell by her painting style and her style and her woodcuts, uh, her glass painting, these are all connected and it's about painting a divine light which is very different from more of the realist take uh, people from the Hague School had. Because at that time everyone was kind of looking for meaning um, behind things and especially behind nature. This exhibition perfectly shows the development that Jacob van Heemskerk had. She has a luminous period, then shortly she gets involved with Cubism, of which there's a beautiful painting here as well, um, and that really um, connects her to the international movements. But then when she really develops her signature style, she is influenced by artists such as Kandinsky, for instance, you can definitely tell. Um, and she also feels the connection with color and music, color and spirituality and she becomes a very free artist and there are beautiful examples here um, of the unique Van Heemskerk style that if you visit the Barberini Museum you will recognize anywhere in the world Annette. and I think that in the future we will see her paintings uh, more internationally because everyone is now looking for the ones that got away when we were writing art history her works are so bold so ambitious and so strong um, that I think no one still doubts about her talents.